Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learning Information Technology with Teacher Stone. In this video, we are going to be focusing on section one of the CSEC syllabus, which is titled Computer Fundamentals and Information Processing. Now, at the end of this section, you should be able to develop an understanding of the fundamental hardware and software components and the interrelationship among them. Develop expertise in evaluating computer systems and also develop an understanding of basic information processing principles. But before I get into the lesson, I want to remind you, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification post, like this video, and drop a comment below to let me know how I am doing so far. So let's get to learning. This lesson is an introduction to computer fundamentals. So let's begin. The first objective we're going to be looking at is explain the concept of information technology. And with that, we have to define information technology. Information technology may be defined as the use of computers, storage, communication, and other physical devices to create and share all forms of electronic data. In essence, what we're saying is that information technology is the use of technology to process data into meaningful information. Now, you would have already been familiar with some of the technologies because you have seen computers smartphones, laptops, tablets, and gaming consoles. So now we have to look at the scope of information technology. What does it include? Well, the scope of information technology is very wide as it encompasses the fields of ICT, computer science, and office automation. Information technology has impacted various areas of life to include work, and recreational activities. So you can see the depth of information technology here. Now we move to what is a computer system? Well, a computer system is the integration of hardware, software, procedures, and data that has been designed to receive, process, store, and present information in a meaningful manner. Therefore, a computer system is a collection of entities that is designed to input, process, store, and output information. Now, what is a computer? A computer is an electronic device that accepts data, processes that data, stores the results, and then produces an output in the form of information. Now, did you know that the calculator that you use in mathematics class is a computer? Yes, it is. It allows for input, it processes the data, it stores the results, and it produces information that you use. Yes, if you didn't know, now you know. Let's move to objective two. This is where we will distinguish among the types of computers. There are five major types of computers, namely supercomputers, mainframe, desktop systems, mobile devices, and embedded devices. We're going to be looking at each of them individually, and we will start with supercomputers. Now, a supercomputer is a computer that performs at the highest operational rate for computers. They are generally used to carry out extremely complex computing tasks. And because of this, we often find them in the fields of science. They are used in tasks such as weather forecasting, climate research, and physical simulation. Its processing speed is measured in floating point operations per second, flops, 
The top 10 supercomputers in 2019 had speeds of up to 143,500 teraflops. That is significantly fast. Supercomputers require an extremely large storage system, and so the fastest supercomputer ever built is capable of scoring more than an exabyte of data. Because of the great expense associated with this type of computer, we find that they are usually found in research environments and large specialist organizations. The next type of computer that we'll be looking at is mainframes. Now a mainframe computer is known for its large size, storage capacity, processing power, and high level of reliability. They are mostly used for transaction processing, such as tracking and billing. So I want you to consider this. The next time you ask your parent to purchase that new gaming console online, that transaction will be processed by a mainframe. Now it has been reported that some mainframes can handle 1.1 million transactions per second. Isn't that just amazing? Right. Now we move to desktop systems. This one you might be very familiar with. A desktop computer is considered to be a computer system that has been designed to fit on the top of a typical office desk. It is used for a wide range of common tasks. They can be found in schools, homes, and offices. Their processing speed, memory, and storage capacity varies, but are installed on the device. Now, as you can see with the picture, the desktop computer comes with the system unit, the monitor, the keyboard, and the mouse. The next type of computer is mobile devices. A mobile device can be defined as one that is small enough to be held and operated in your hand. It is definitely made for portability. The Samsung Galaxy S20 that was released in March 2020 uses the Snapdragon 865, which has a processing speed of up to 2.8 gigahertz. Isn't that noteworthy? Mobile devices vary in size and storage capacity, but the storage capacity can be expanded by using a memory card. Finally, we look at the last type of computer, embedded devices. An embedded device is a specialized device that performs a few specific tasks and is usually contained within another system. For example, a microcontroller embedded in a washing machine for controlling all tasks. We can think of additional examples as well, such as a heart monitor that is embedded in a smart watch. I'm sure you can think of many other examples as well. Now we have come to the end of this lesson. I thank you for watching. And again, I remind you to subscribe to my channel, Learning Information Technology with Teacher Stone. If you have any questions, you can post them below and I will respond to them. Additionally, you can send me an email at lit with teacherstone at gmail.com. I'm asking that you head over to Instagram as well and follow me over there. Lit with Teacher Stone. That's L I T with Teacher Stone. You can send me a DM there as well. All right. Thanks for watching.